Jim, I want to continue this conversation from the last few weeks. Um, today I want to talk about there's, there's more and more awareness around gay, lesbian, transgender. And I know that there's a spiritual connection to each of those. So what do you see? Well, everything's driven from that spiritual space first. And so it drops into the mental and the emotional and the physical in terms of just the process. But there is, uh, so let's start with, with gay, lesbian uh, personality. And I'm going to distinguish between sexual drives, we'll talk about that, and the nature of the personality, a feminine personality or a masculine personality. And just use personality as a simple definition for directing the conversation. But from a spiritual standpoint, there is an energy field that is huge and has a gigantic impact when understood. And it's referred to as a Merkaba, or a, in this case, a star tetrahedron. It's an alignment of energy that is out in this field mm -hmm. around us. And that alignment of energy has a tremendous amount to do with feminine and masculine. When you play in physical third dimensional reality, we define feminine and masculine by male body or female body. And then there's, as time has evolved, as we're getting more conscious, in 70s and 80s, for example, we started to have an aspect of men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Well, that actually was very important because it began to identify how feminine begins to look at things. There's a nurturing mm -hmm. aspect, a softer aspect, whereas the masculine side has more hard lines structure. and straight lines and structure. As you begin to take this higher into a fifth dimensional space, Feminine and masculine is a language. It's not about bodies. It's about flow on the feminine side and structure on the masculine side. And they are the yin and yang. And they be, they're be they held in this star tetrahedron. That's just a construct for an enormous basic language in spiritual realities. So is a is a person who identifies as gay, is their star tetrahedron different? It, it, when I look at it, it's slightly differently aligned. It's not, it's... Correct. So let's keep it really simple. It's not better or worse. No. It's basically that star tetrahedron, as similar to a body, is a vehicle for a spirit to have experience. And in the case of the star tetrahedron, the alignment allows for more of a flow, feminine characteristic, or an, a, more of a structural, masculine characteristic. And there is a point where that energetic structure is being now brought into consciousness. And as it begins to be brought into consciousness, it is beginning to be expansive into the language of feminine and masculine. So the hard line, male body, female body, is true at three dimension, but we're moving into something much bigger. So when a person, a being, comes into a body and they're basically saying, I want a fuller experience, the structure of allowing a wide range of masculine and feminine to be expressed is available, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's you come into a body to be male or to be female. So third dimension creates a restriction on the expression. Mm -hmm. And so if your intention is to have a, have a male body and have a feminine characteristic, a flow, an ease, a, a delightfulness, a, a lightheartedness, a lot of times that's part of that feminine expression. And in third dimension, it's a conflict yeah. from the third dimensional person world and the conflict creates a challenge because all of a sudden there's something wrong with and that's how it's been for a long time mm -hmm. and so as this whole uh, expansion of the language begins to be more and more real since about 1987 you've seen more attention on gay 
and lesbian orientations. The challenge is third dimension still points to sexuality and they get stuck in the morals and the ethics of sexuality. But what I, and, and something I'm noticing too that that more and more there's a greater awareness and a greater allowing of this whole gender spectrum and you know there's there's 10 different ways to identify but what i'm watching is that it's still a label oh of course you know it's still how do i fit this person into a box that i can hold tight and identify and that's 3d that's 3d so you, you got to understand we live in 3d yeah. And it's being transformed. And it's not easy and it's not fast. And it's happening fast, but not f fast in terms of the average person looking at it. The average person in the world, not the people we're mostly talking to here, are still now even getting more threatened by life mm -hmm. because my status quo is being changed in politics and in, in monetary terms and governments and gay, lesbians, transgender is just another part of this transition. So so what's happening though is the language is beginning to be more spoken. Uh -huh. And so there's more freedom, even though there is still lots of reaction and suppression, but there's more freedom. Mm -hmm. Now the part that's starting to come to the surface in conversation more is another aspect of this whole process and that's transgender. And transgender, from a spiritual standpoint, is just an amazing kind of process. But to keep it as simple as possible, it is a, a being that's intending to fully come in as a female body or a male body, let's say. And, but as a spirit, they know what they're doing. And in order to push the envelope, many of these beings are coming in to be seen in a different presentation of themselves. But where it happens is it happens right at the birthing process. So when the egg splits, that first split, the XY chromosomes are structured in such a way they'll split. The being may want to have a complete female experience. So at a spirit, mental, emotional level, they're structured to be a female. At a physical level, the XY chromosome goes the other way. How does that happen? It happens intentionally as a spiritual being. So the spirit is saying, I want to be in a female body, but I want to have a male experience. Yes. Okay. And so, now, you, let's not look for places to throw rocks at that, because the 3D world will throw all mm -hmm. kinds of rocks. But it happens right at that split, at the, at the fertilization process. Mm -hmm. So basically, the personality is well scripted to now enter a physical form, and the physical form is programmed to XY chromosome split to the other sex. Yeah. And so you have this, to the individual, a very confusing process when they come into the body because they forget their spiritual space, and that space, they all of a sudden, they're a female, mm -hmm. or they're a male, and it's like, where did this come from? Right. It, it's almost, it was, to them, it's as dramatic as all of a sudden we blink our eyes and I'm in your body and you're right, in my right. body, and if you could figure that out. And, it's, and that would be rather jarring. jarring. And so then you take all of the prejudice and all the 3D and you add it onto a kid. Oh, yeah. Oh. And the confusion is really got to be terrifying. And so there's um, a man that I know, Bruce Jenner who is the, who, one of the best triathletes, gold mm -hmm. medal winner, huge bulky guy, just a really delightful guy. And once he wins that gold medal, has a visibility, something clicks and all of a sudden his nature of being a female starts to take over. And you watch this visibly in the Kardashians, in mm -hmm. the transformation of a man into a female, and and Caitlyn Jenner, which was Bruce Jenner, is now being very vocal about this is what's going on. Uh, tremendous courage oh, yeah. to be able to play that game and be able to stand up for that. Mm -hmm. Now, again, 3D goes, well, I don't like him or I like him or she's not a he and he's not a she and 3D. Yeah. But you're watching this expansion of freedom, this range of choice that 
you're going to start to see beings coming in that are coming in from I'm going to be, make it simple other planets other frames of spiritual consciousness other realms and when they come in they're not they have a vast array of experience that is unlike anything we've ever seen so you're watching this spiritual realm beginning to open up in aspects of body because that's what 3d understands but your people those who are listening to this begin to have a sense of there's more mm -hmm. there's other aspects of mm -hmm. consciousness other realms not so much aliens but consciousness and that consciousness is going to start to present things in this transformation you're beginning to see when things begin to really change when all of a sudden the elementals start appearing as an example and all of a sudden there's a whole series of new elements chemical kind of elements that come to come mm -hmm. into awareness like where did they come yeah. from and all of a sudden you begin to see different molecular structures happening and all of a sudden within almost overnight the waters on the earth are healed cleaned but what else comes with all that is going to be this consciousness from these higher realms taking the world out of 3d so this aspect of gender is mm -hmm. part of the larger game yeah interesting good good freedom yeah so stay tuned you <laughs> may you too may become a a new being in a new body <laughs> the end